All right, so my question is, all right, so is this, like, because I, I did a little research, right? Mm -hmm. And initially I seen it was mostly white, so. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't expecting him to be black. So uh, what, what, what's the ratio with that? Like, or, or are you just accepting all furniture, like Ikea? So <laughs> are, like, are you accepting all furniture so, or specific types? I will say 90% of my clients are white men. When I do get the 10% that are black men, I noticed like just from being in this industry for five years, they're mostly into the lighter stuff, like foot worship, being like human footstools. Whereas the white men are into the crazier shit, like being whipped and spanked and like spit on and all that type of stuff. Like that's what they're into. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I not, love I not, love the pauses. No, no, like no, I'm, no, trying no, to, no, I'm trying to I'm trying to register I'm, I'm, I'm it. Processing, processing, okay, so hold on. Before he gets into his, so it's gonna give him a second right, yeah, so yeah, he can yeah, process, yeah. Right, right? So I'm gonna let everyone know we talk before we do this. Surprise, surprise, right? So we were having a conversation earlier mm -hmm. about what do you register as something that's cool for you, um, right? So like something that might be cool for me might not be cool for someone else. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to take yourself out of your point of view and see it from someone else's point of view mm -hmm. on something that they might like. Like for instance, that's probably not yeah. my bag. Mm -hmm. And by probably, I mean it's definitely not. But I can understand that maybe there's something in it for him. Mm -hmm. Like I have a friend, my man loves foot jobs. Um, I can't, I don't even like feet touching me. So mm -hmm. I can't even imagine feet around my dick. And I'm like, oh, this is the wave, mm -hmm. right? I like, I, I, I can't even see that. Right. But it doesn't matter because that's what he's getting out of it. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. so it's it's just like trying to identify that. Like, is there any times where you'll get a, a sub who's like, yo, this is what I'm into. And you're like, yeah. rewind and give me that back. Yeah, we call those hard limits. So like in BDSM and anything I do, everything has to be consensual. Like we have to mutually agree on like, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'll get some subs that I literally like, I literally got a message today that said, will you castrate me? Whoa, no, 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 This pod went dark. <laughs> this pod went dark. Hold, it's real dark out here right hold, now. Yes. Hold, that's a hold no. On. That's a hard no for me. Like That's aggressive. Yeah. Very aggressive. I heard but, of circumcision is my decision, wait, but, but that's wild. But, but honestly, I think a lot of these subs, too, like, to me, some of it is not even reality. When they ask questions like that, it's more so fantasy. Like, I feel like they want to hear a story of how I might do it. But it's like, I know you're not trying to get castrated, bro. Like, you're not trying to go you through that. You would do it, though? Like, no. Oh, fuck no. 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 What do you think she's gonna come in with? Absolutely scrubs? not. I'm ready for this to happen. <laughs> no, that sounds like jail Kobe time. Mistress, mistress that sounds like issues. No. That's fucking yeah. crazy. 